Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you about how to squat like a boss, and I've been getting a lot of questions about this. My name is Fresh, I'm here with Amino Z. So, uh, the first question that I got is uh, how to squat properly. Yeah, there's a lot of instruction involved, but I'm going to show you a really quick clip of front squats, back squats, overhead squats. Watch carefully. Okay, so you'll notice, of course, in there that uh, heels are in the ground, I'm going as low as I can, and yes, that's me squatting a plate. Okay, uh, next question, how does it help? Yeah, why, like, why? Why squat? Maybe I can do something else. Well, um, squats are a really awesome exercise. Um, if you have a strong squat, you're generally a good athlete. You can do anything when you squat. You've got strong legs. It's a glute, quads, hamstrings, calf lower back, uh, upper back, ab, work out, and they're just an amazing movement. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, and then I get a lot of questions about like squats or machines. And I know so many people who are kind of like nervous about squatting. So they don't squat and they end up doing um, a leg curl and leg press machine and they do those the calf thing. It depends on what your goals are. So I, I personally reserve those machines that isolate muscles for bodybuilders because when you're isolating muscles that's a very bodybuilding style workout so you can isolate like hamstrings and do three or four different machines for just hamstrings and you can't do that when you're squatting when you're squatting you're using all of those muscles as a group so what's your goal if you're a bodybuilder yeah of course it's part of your program you'll know it's written in your program if you're doing it because you want to be fit and you want to get stronger and all of those other reasons which is kind of the majority of the population uh, squat don't touch those machines. I know they're all over the gym and it makes you feel comfortable to sit in a chair and do exercise, but that's not how those muscles were designed to work. They were designed to work as a unit, and the squat being the foundation of all exercises, you've got to put more squats in. You can pick front, back, overhead squats, whatever it is, do those. Um, okay, I'm going to move on. Question number four of five, so we're almost there. Uh, oh, I get this one so much. I'm just going to use the Smith rack. The Smith rack is that rack where there's a barbell inside of the rack and it's attached at two sides so it's in a track. Major problem with that, if you've just touched the bar for one thing, there's no weight on that track. The, the track takes half the weight for you. But uh, when you're doing a squat, um, a huge part of the exercise is your core keeping your body upright. And when you're using a Smith rack, you eliminate that whole thing, the, the balance, the core, uh, everything that's keeping your spine upright, all of your ab muscles that are keeping your body upright um, are eliminated. So. Uh, Smith rack, well, you're, you're going to pick and choose what you're going to do. You can definitely do more weight if you're pushing a Smith rack. Final uh, and question was, should I do more reps or more intensity? Like, you're kind of lost in your program. That, again, is really, really dependent upon um, your goals. So what phase of training are you in? Uh, reasons to add more intensity is if you're trying to get stronger. So let's say that you're doing sets of like five, like five sets of five is a really standard way of building strength. Um, if you're doing five sets literally of five, you can add more weight because if you're able to do five of five, that's not really a five rep max and it's, it, it's probably actually a lighter bar than you think it is. Like it, yes, it feels heavy and it looks heavy, but you're capable of doing a lot more. So, so adding intensity if you're going, add intensity means adding a load, adding a load to your bar. Um, if you're going to go for improving strength um, and improving power as well. And then when it comes to general overall fitness, like if you're a runner, you play a certain sport and you might be exercising for more than um, like a minute or so, then add more repetitions. Um, but be careful, if you're able to do more than 12 or 15 repetitions of a particular weight, it's way too light. You're not really going to get any benefit from it. Um, you need to be working at a certain percentage, so at least like 70%, 65, 70, 80% of your maximum capacity. So more than 12 or 15 reps, too many, load on, see, experiment, if you can perform 10 at that weight, uh, 8 at that weight, load on, see how many you can do, and kind of gauge your reps and sets by that. But um, yeah, it's a variable answer. So uh, good luck, keep squatting, and if your gym doesn't have a squat, a rack with a free barbell, tell them to get one because no gym is fully equipped without it and I've seen those gyms and I feel sad for them. Okay, have a good day and my name is Fresh and I'm the uh, trainer here with Amino Z.